Hey guys, it's Aubrey and Tara and welcome back to our kitchen. Today we're making Turkish Delight. This is so much fun. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting off in a saucepan over medium high heat, add in four cups of white sugar and one and a half cups of water. Mix that together until the sugar is dissolved. Also, while you're doing that, place in a candy thermometer. Let the water and sugar come to a boil. It should take about 10 to 15 minutes. Once it reaches 240 degrees, which is softball stage in candy making, remove it from heat. While doing this, be super careful because the candy is so hot. Set that aside and save for later on. Now in a separate larger saucepan that should be over medium heat, add in two and three quarter cups of water, three tablespoons of lemon juice, and we didn't have lemon juice, so we used lime juice, but either one works. Then add in one teaspoon of cream of tartar, and lastly, one and a quarter cups of cornstarch. Give that a whisk until there are no lumps. At first, it looks kind of milky, but as you keep whisking it over time, it gets really thick and jelly-like. Honestly, it's kind of amazing. It looks something like petroleum jelly. Once it gets thick like that, turn the heat to low. Slowly pour in the candy mixture and mix until combined. You want to be sure there are no lumps, so using a whisk is really good. Now once that's all combined, we're going to let it cook for about 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. And just a reminder, it should be over low heat. Once that's done simmering for half an hour, we're going to add in our flavorings and color. Add in half a teaspoon of peppermint extract, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of red gel food coloring. Then give that a whisk until it's well combined. Transfer the mixture to a 9x9 inch pan lined with saran wrap that's also greased with vegetable oil. Smooth it out and fully cover the top with saran wrap. Then let it sit out at room temperature overnight. The next day, generously dust a clean surface with lots of powdered sugar. And very carefully remove the Turkish Delight from your pan. Transfer it to the surface and dust with even more powdered sugar. Then all you have to do is cut your Turkish Delight into little cubes. The Turkish Delight is super sticky so cutting it might be a little hard, but you'll get the hang of it. You should have 81 pieces. Then once they're each cut into little pieces, roll it around in some powdered sugar. And here's a close-up of the inside of them. And that is all there is to it. And they look like gems. I really like the color because we used red food coloring, of course, but they look pink because of the powdered sugar, so it gives a really wintry feel. Uh, so yeah, let's just taste them. So if you've never had Turkish Delight before, the best way we can describe it to you is that it kind of tastes like jello, but thicker yet softer and sweeter. So we use peppermint for the flavoring, but you can also use any like flavors like orange, raspberry, lemon. A, a classic is rose water, but we don't really love rose water, but if you want to use that, use that. And then you can also dye it different colors like orange and you know, And you can also add in nuts. That's what a lot of people do. Like pistachios is one of our favorites. So yeah, you guys definitely need to try this because it's winter and this is like just the time for Turkish delights and Christmas time too, of course. Uh, and yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.